Okay guys, thanks for tuning in in this video. Today is going to be a special video because we have a big announcement about RC Jetprint. We're going to call Siggy and he's going to explain you about a really cool feature for you actually. So more about this later in this video. Um, I hope you all guys enjoyed the intro as much as I do. Uh, it took me seven years to go from a testing frame until to this today with a full body printed color wrap performing filaments fuselage, seven kilos of weight, but we need to move on. So to give you all a, a recap what we're going to do in 2025. Um, so you've seen version number one, actually with also with the raw EDFs, pitching EDFs, and the big shoe blur with a full functional Pegasus inside. Um, the second step is to remove those roll EDFs and replace them by tubes, which takes bleed air from the main EDF to the roll falls. So this will be number, version number two. To actually compensate the loss of T-factor from those rolling EDFs, we're going to use bigger 65 millimeter EDFs for pitching. And um, the goal is actually to choose which setup works the best. Um, the goal is to build eventually a composite model. So we need to make, make molds. Uh, thanks to some friends from Helmond. I'm not going to say names, but this is a really special person. He's going to help me with making molds and making the first composite um, Harrier. Looking very favor for it, but I have to work really hard now to make the second setup, version number two. So enough of talking, let's start working. <laughs> okay, let's build. So a really quick recap to this uh, model. So we got an EDF for rolling and these also work as jaw uh, momentum. This model is really amazing, guys. So let me explain you a little bit how this model works. So this model is fully equipped. All the servos are there, the flap servos, everything is well equipped. Total weight is seven kilos. So the goal of this video and, um, is to get rid of those roll EDFs. Um, so they provide pitch, they provide also roll control, and they also provide <laughs> rudder control uh, because I want to go closer to scale. Well, to do that, we're going to use a Schubler 128 millimeter EDF and we're going to top air from the main EDF, like the designs that we have back in 2017. As you can see in this design, Air is being tapped. We got this air divider, which goes into the wing, and yeah, it goes to the to the to this roll valve, which blows the air upwards and downwards. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been printing with the bamboo lots, and we got all parts to build a complete new Harrier model, and. Yeah, some of you are complaining actually about the red color. So now we're going for a fully gray model. It's going to be epic. So um, before building a composite model, we have to choose between two setups. One is a setup in this um, red colored model, let's say with, uh, with roll EDFs. And the other setup is with the roll pipes to get rid of those roll EDFs. And to compensate that T-factor loss, we're going to put a bigger EDF in the front and a bigger EDF in the, in the back. So this one was provided with 2 times 40 in pitch and the new model will have 64 millimeters for pitch. Um, also in this video, we're going to do a special announcement about RC Jetprint. Um, yeah, we got a cool surprise for you guys. And um, of course, I'm really proud to be a partner of uh, PCBWay. Cool, huh? So more about this uh, later in this video. So this, uh, this video is also powered by PCBWay. So let's start gluing some fuselage parts. Um, these are all printed in lightweight foaming filaments from Colorfab. So make sure to check out their website. And the printing quality is just amazing. 
Uh, I need to sand it a little bit and it's quite usable and super, super lightweight and quite strong. Okay guys, look at it. <laughs> it starts to look like a Harrier. And the, the fittings are quite fitting nicely. Also the, the front nozzles are aligned. And this one is going to be epic. But still, I really don't know the outcome of this project to decide which setup works the best to build in a composite model. But uh, we will find out. I, it looks promising. Uh, for now, I think this is a good moment to show you guys more about the RC Jetprint uh, website. And we got a cool announcement and this is uh, actually a quite new feature on this uh, channel. So uh, let's call my friend uh, Siggy. Um, he is my uh, discussion partner. <laughs> so I met him on, uh, on Friedrichshaven, also like René Roosentrager. And uh, let's give him a call. This is already recording, so good morning, and my sound is working this time, Ziggy. How are nice. you? Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Good morning, my friend. <laughs> so, I'm very well. How are you? I'm doing well, and I just uh, announced that we have some news to share about the RC Jetprint website. So, can you show me something really cool, what you have built? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me share the screen, and first of all, thank you for this, for this invitation. Cool. I really appreciated this and now I will share my screen. So the idea that we both had was actually that we know from our meetings where we meet all our friends yeah. from RC, from the RC print community, let's say. Exactly, yeah. That they all these guys have so many nice ideas. They are also very, very good in designing and also checking. So really almost doing the same stuff that we mm -hmm. do, our hobby time. Yeah. And so we came up with the idea, why not give these people a platform where they can also promote their projects? Yeah. And this is now a new setup on uh, our homepage. Mm -hmm. and, uh, where we now can split between our projects, exactly. right? Yeah. This wow. is where we have our nice uh, uh, Vital F35B, for example, our Castrol X, and also the X32. Which is ongoing. Which is ongoing, and also some other nice projects we are working on. And now new is that we can also follow your project ah. which is a kind of a vendor program for exactly these guys so if we go here to the vendor program yeah then we will come to the introduction page let's mm -hmm. say and on this page you can also already register to become a vendor oh yeah? wow so this is actually for free, let's say. For so you don't have a subscription, for subscription like, uh, like my mini factory? You do not have a membership ah. there. You do not have a subscription. So this basic store, let's say, is for free. Mm -hmm. So what you will get is a digital store on RC Jetprint, which looks really, really nice. Mm -hmm. You will initially get 200 MB disk space for your project for free for uploads the STL files, you are uh, um, allowed to upload up to five projects currently. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, you decide, actually, the, for the price that you will charge for your STL files and yeah. will get a direct commission of uh, 75% of the turnover. The rest is what we actually would need to keep this website up and, yeah, and maintaining the website, all those plugins that we need to pay for. So this so is I actually fair. Nice. 
it's uh, it's the current status. This may change during time, but what you really get is an easy um, setup for your shop and also a professional dashboard where we will see all the uh, downloads, let's say, all the money stuff and so on and so on. Yep. And the only thing that you would have to do is to click on become a vendor mm -hmm. and uh, just give us some little information. You will see um, the red stars. These are required information that we would need to set up the account for you, mm -hmm. which is really, you see, not a lot, right? And uh, after registering, you will get a uh, login with your login, <coughs> actually, and then... You are going to, uh, let's, okay, now after logging in, you will find a new icon, which is your store manager here mm. in your login dashboard. Yeah. And if you go here, you can really manage your complete store. Yeah. yeah. You can set up new projects. You can uh, put some media files directly on your account. And you really will also see all the orders and really have a nice dashboard of what's really going on within your shop, right? Oh, wow. So you, you created a small shop for the users in RC Jetprint. Exactly. And after setting up some um, projects on your own, you can go, you will find your shop on your projects. This is, for example, an example shop like it's shown mm -hmm. if you visit your shop then you will also find your project which you can directly add to your cart this is how it works actually and this is your shop page how it will look like for example. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice 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 yeah this, this is, is actually pretty new awesome mm -hmm. and i think uh yeah, this will people will have some fun and like like we said, all those talented people they can share their product their project if they want and I think this is a nice step. Hey, congratulations! It's 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 already online. It is already available and it is online. We are just waiting for the first people to join this community and really change the RC print community because I think we both believe that this will be the future of RC modeling um, in some, right? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Amazing. So, yeah. So, guys, uh, if you're watching this video, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section what you think about this idea. Um, actually, Siggy is, is my friend, which I'm talking with him since 2070 about uh, our Harrier projects. Uh, we talk a lot about wings or T-Vector and all the stuff. What's Try what's available in the world to make a Harrier functional. So, guys, this is the guy. And uh, we love doing this, what we are doing as a, as a hobby. So, uh, what are you up to these days, by the way? I'm what are uh, you building or designing? I'm uh, currently building, you know, in our free time. In we both time. have a regular job. And uh, we still do this uh, as a hobby, let's say, yeah. and uh, in our spare time. And what I'm currently... Uh, designing and building is uh, a 70 millimeter EDF or B B 70 millimeter EDF BAE Hawk. Wow. Which is supposed to take uh, all the parts from an available FMS Avanti and mm -hmm. it's also supposed to fly like an Avanti. It's <laughs> really <laughs> enough plane so for those people who really like flying and uh, do some really crazy shit with a regular flying plane, I think this would be a good choice. I'm currently wiring up um, this plane and yeah, let's see when the weather is maybe getting a little bit warmer, go outside and then we'll do the maidens. Oh, yeah. look, looking forward. So guys, if you understand this, uh, it doesn't need to be all fetal. It has to be just cool and fun flyable uh, so use your imagination to just build cool airplanes and also make sure to follow the instagram page of rc jetprint so we're setting up an rc jetprint instagram page and uh, you will see the latest uh, projects there as well so guys 
again, let me know if you like all these projects and if you want to see more videos like this and conversations, be a part of the discussion, what we are doing about the Harrier. We can also use your input. So please let us know in the comment section. So Siggy, thank you so much for this wonderful conversation. And uh, yeah, I will try my best to put it online on Sunday Eve. I'm really looking forward and thank you very much. And uh, talk to you later, mate. Talk to you later. <laughs> bye bye, mate. <laughs> bye bye. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay provides custom PCB services, but they also offer 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet fabrication, and many more. We use CNC and also 3D printing to make our projects. Mostly I use PCBWay to CNC cut aluminium parts for the F25 landing gear. At PCBWay you can easily upload your file, select the material that you want and get a quote in less than 24 hours. Check them out at PCBWay.com. And let's go back to our video. So the front section is uh, assembled and uh, I think I'm going to continue now with the wing. Um, I'm running out of foaming filaments from, from, from Colorfab, so I need to order them. So then we can continue printing the last few parts like flaps, ailerons, tail, and uh, one section of the fuselage I still do miss. Tail is actually done, but I still need to print that mid section. So let's make a small start with the wing. So I am super happy how the model came out for today's video. Um, we got here a lot of space for installing the receiver controller and it's really awesome to see how the tube goes into the wing design. It's very, very fit. Uh, we got still a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, tail parts being printed and done needs to be assembled. And this is also a quite cool thingy. So this is the wing tip, like you saw in the design. The air goes to this hole. Uh, then we got this uh, valve. And this is the design of the valve actually. So in this position, it will, the air stream will go downwards. And in this position, the air stream will go upwards. So you got a big momentum for rolling. And this part actually fits here fits perfectly super super happy how it looks like and then uh, we will make a cover to make it more uh, detailed and scale so this is actually the design of 2017 already and finally for the first time we're going to test it with a huge wing installed okay so this is it for this week's video thank you all for watching and i will see you guys uh, next time